Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet 2. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at this beautiful little numpad. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I don't know anything about it and I don't know if I even pronounce it the right way. Um, but they are extremely cute, they are from Australia. Uh, I just I, I feel inspired a lot of the youtubers that do plan Sue have been doing Australia lately and I kind of just wanted to see which Australian mods there are out there and this is the numbat um, it's extremely cute and it's had this little black stripe there and the stripes down here but it has so many colors like light brown orange brown white dark brown gray another gray another gray um and the baby is also extremely cute so this mod is created by Nawala, who been in the modding game for quite a long time, as far as I know. And here he brings to life this beautiful creature. I love this picture. You can clearly see the animal and what it is. Uh, I'm not gonna read all of this up, uh, up for you, um, but it is endangered and the uh, population is less than a thousand in the wild. They do live in... Uh, Previously, they lived in the southern part of Australia, but now it's restricted. But now it is restricted to several small colonies in Western Australia. So it is extremely endangered, with which is probably why I never heard about it before. Yeah, you can see. I do believe this map is. Uh, custom made for this specific animals there are some mothers that just reuse the same mat for all of them but I do think this is right uh, they live in the grassland desert and timbered biome and they do uh, use a bit of space here not a lot a lot but comparing to the size of the animal I actually think that is a lot no climbing no water uh, required but they do like to drink it here you can see, even though they can survive in the temperate biome, uh, they don't like the snow. Uh, 13 is the coldest they go. Uh, they need one meter of grade 2 fence. Here you can see group size 1 to 4, but that is 2 males and 2 females. Uh, not 1 male and 3 females, I don't know. If uh, I again, I don't know anything about this animal, so I don't know why. Um, but they are poorly amorous, so I you could also have one male and two females, and that would be fine. He would mate with both of them. If you only have males and on, or only females, then you would still just have one or two of each. Uh, there's no dominance. Uh, again, the poorly amorous. They are ne neutral about humans and you guys can injure. They are quite long, 40 centimeters, um, and they live for five years. So they kind of have a short life, but a lot of smaller animals have shorter lives. Uh, so when you enter this into your game, you should know that unless you edit the aging, um, What's it called? Animal settings. It's only in sandbox. You can do this. You can reduce animal aging rate. Normally, I have this on five when I play. Um, this is just my test too. So to see the kids faster, I have it on one. But you can't uh, do so. They uh, age five times slower. So instead of having a life expectancy of 5, they, that would be 25. Uh, but it, uh, then they would also have to be 10 years instead of 2 years before they can reproduce. And they will, instead of have babies once a month, once a year, they would have babies every 5 years, so it is all fit together. 
Uh, here the standard settings is two years sexual maturity, sterilization, death, uh, offspring per mating season, uh, two to four, gestation, uh, two months, interbirth period, twelve months, and reproductive uh, uh, reproduction in captivity is easy. So they don't have any inter-species enrichment and then we go over here they use the tree lock which i just love this and when animals use these i think it's so cute then we have the tennis ball here i know it's hiding down here the sprinkler system the water jet and the high one of the water system here um bubble machine uh, you know there's this one and there's this one and they use the big one for food enrichments they have uh, the pyramid mount which the only thing is i would love them also to be able to use this one uh, as well uh, both because I think this is a beautiful thing in the game uh, and the, I only think it's the anteater that actually used this which I think it's sad I know this would be more common in a zoo but when you if you want to make not realistic zoos but natural zoos uh, then I think you would rather use this one so that would be nice uh, to have this possibility and then they use um, this bamboo feeder. They live of termite uh, mainly, uh, and therefore, of course, they use this one. Let's see, who do we have in the water? That's all rabbits. Yeah, my rabbit video should be up at this point, but I'm not sure. Oh, here you are. We have quite a few of babies here. And then we have the adult. We start with the adult who just ran off. Then we're gonna take you. Can I see you, please? There. Stop. Yeah. Let's have a closer look. Uh, I already told you I think it's beautiful. Uh, it's easy to say when it's an animal you don't know. Here you have, depending on how close you go, you have strands, clearly, but the texture here is kind of uh, glitching. Also here you can see it's kind of pixelated, even though you can see the strands, but it is still pixelated. Uh, when you go out here, you can see the mid section here looks l a lot more realistic than the strands up here. I I think the reason why is that the strands up here he made only go one way where here they go every single way which make it a lot more realistic let's see the cute cute face i do like when we are actually able to see the claws i know no ones are going to zoom in this mud on on the mud um so a lot of people don't notice when you can see the claws but uh, i really appreciate it he did make the eyebrows hair and the whiskers, which I I love eyebrows hair and whiskers. It always tells you that the mother really have an eye for detail. Here you can see the individual strands and I actually think this part of the animal, especially here you can see small small strands of hair here, is so much better executed than it is back here. That's kind of funny to me. Um, it kind of have this uh, leathery eyelid that some animals do have. Again, I don't know this animal, so I assume this animal also have it. Where did you go? Okay, Let's try again. There, that's fine. Uh, down here we have a bit of this um, pixelated fluff. 
I do love animals with a lot of fluff, <laughs> a lot of fluff. Um, but down here it just looks pixelated, which I think it's kind of sad because this is a really beautiful mud from here. Real beautiful. It's also real beautiful from about here, uh, for what you can see it. Um, but you don't need to zoom too much out to um, to see how beautiful it is. A lot of mods, when you go all the way up here, they will look kind of pixelated some places. Um, and especially the small animals, uh, if you compare, if I had this one and a cow, then the cow, I would look at this in this distance. So a lot of small animals, when you go really close, it's easier to see the pixelation and the small mistakes. Uh, again, I it I, I have a hard time calling it uh, mistakes because no matter what, it is beautifully executed. And I I will try to be less negative when I look at the mods now because a lot of the mods I love. I don't think I ever ha had a mod I just didn't like. Uh, I'm really go going to use this pretty soon, I think. Uh, I just need to have this it's, it's really crack the habitat first, uh, how I want to do it. Um, but I love this animal. I think it's so funny. And especially because it's something that I haven't seen before. Uh, for instance, you can... Some mothers make new tigers for instance and i love new variation of the tiger there are so many very different tigers out in the world but again i have seen a tiger this mud brings something completely different to the game which i really love um so i i, I really want to use this and i re i really gonna yeah approved <laughs> from here um if you want this mod yourself it is linked below along with a tutorial by leap production on how to install it and enter it into your game remember if you use mod it is on your own risk frontier doesn't approve of it but if you really take notice of the tutorials there are out on the youtube then you can actually fa fairly easy find your way around. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, they borrow, or not, they don't use the borrow, I have checked, but they use this um, digging system, which I love. It's so cute when they do it. I would like them to enter this new small borrow so we could have a camera down there. Um, but besides that, it's again, it's beautiful. Uh, so I recommend and again if you want to get it on yourself, it is linked below. I totally forgot we were going to look at the babies. I have three babies now. This one is 0 0.7 years old. Uh, I don't think they have gradually growing. It seems like they're kind of the same size, all of the babies. Uh, they do seem to be a bit lighter, if I can just pause you there. Uh, the brown here seems to be lighter than the grown-ups over here. This is more dark and yellowy, but this is more pale. It kind of looks like it smiles. I love that. Um, they are so cute, so cute. Little friend. And that's also a baby over here. They have some really cute interactions. I haven't seen any between the adults and the babies, but I have seen some between the adults, uh, where they actually stand up like this together, and then the one that's further back put its paw on the one on the front, uh, which is extremely cool, cute. So. But guys, that's all I have for you today. You know this real like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!